Welcome to Chris's Walking Dead exhibit. We're talking about the Grim Cemetery Tower, the first paid tower in the game. Should you be using these? Should you buy them? These are all good questions right here. And uh, the first thing I gotta say is, no matter what, you can always beat the entire game without buying a single extra tower. So don't feel like it's a necessity. It's more of, do you want to have some fun? Do you want to have all the towers available to yourself? And if you do, you're gonna have to pay some money to make it happen, dude. Uh, so... I actually, re I actually really like the Grim Cemetery, though. It's a pretty good, it's a pretty good tower. Um... It's a, it's a stalling tower, is the way you want to think about it. It's sort of like a barracks, but you have to kill people in the range of it. Enemies unfortunate enough to die close to the cemetery will be denied their rest and forced to rise as mindless zombies, wandering about and attacking foes until they rot or get destroyed. So, sadly, they do rot, so they die pretty quickly over time. If you got really big, crazy units coming in, or somebody who does grouped damage, the Grim Cemetery isn't going to mean all that much. But for most other regular units... The Grim Cemetery is going to be pretty gosh darn powerful. When you look at it on paper here, it looks pretty bad. The attack is like, ooh, terrible. The health is pretty high. And then the armor is, is meh. It's pretty bad though, right? We got no armor at all. So, what does that really mean though? Uh, it means that, well, the health is high because we have so many zombies coming up. And they have the ability to stall a lot. So that's really all we got. But the armor is zero because we don't have any armor on our, on our zombies. They don't have, they're not wearing any clothes. Well, I guess they're wearing shorts out there. So I guess we got to do that to put them in the game. As far as our abilities go, Zombie X Muscle Gain improves your zombies, making them stronger. Nice. All right, so we get big, big fish zombies. Uh, we get the bloated corpses every few seconds. The next zombie will explode on death, dealing damage to nearby enemies. So we always like guys to explode doing group damage. Nice. And last but not least, we got Cold Grip. Every few seconds creates a zone full of gripping hands, slowing enemies over it. Again, sort of a nice uh, barracks-style unit ability to use for themselves. Slowing everybody down, keeping everybody in a nice bundle right there, combine them with a nice artillery tower uh, or grouped attacking tower, and you're going to be rocking the game, my friends. So let's hop into a game and show him off really quick. I'm going to try and show him off in as much detail as I possibly can, talk about them as much detail as I possibly can, so you guys can understand if you want to buy them in your game. So here we go. Uh, first of all, cheap as crap, man. Oh, boy. Like, look at this. We're spending 70, only 110, but look at the range so far. Very, very low. First level, not even going to increase the range much at all. Second level, not going to increase it much at all, but... Third tier, that's where it changes. All right, so now we're going to go up to, actually, excuse me, fourth tier. Once you get up to fourth tier, the range goes, it balloons on up and actually gives you a reasonable range for your zombie um, thingamabob. So uh, you should notice, though, that on the left side, only two upgrades, the middle path, only one upgrade, and the right side, only two upgrades. So you're going to get random zombies popping up here without anybody dying. But also, when people die in the range, you're going to end up, uh, you know, uh, having them come up as zombies as well. So I am going to be using Azra over here as a support tower, right? I feel like that's that's pretty important to, to do. Just, you know, because it doesn't have a single regular attack over here. When you look at these zombies, by the way, 312, 312 health is not too bad. Daddy's got 312 health. That's pretty freaking solid over here. These guys are not going to be dying all that easy at all. Uh, we can get the cold grip over here, so we're going to get it up for the first tier, and then every 12 seconds creates a zone. That's not too bad. That's a really low cooldown on that bad boy. Zombies are just fighting, fighting each other. Each zombie's trying to take down one of these guys. Keep in mind that they have a pretty low attack, 4 to, four to 10. So even though they've got 300 health, these guys' 13 to 19 attack is definitely going to allow them to win instead. But everybody who's uh, dying over here turned into zombies. We've got zombies flying out all over the place. Now, if we want to, we get the zombie muscle gain for only $125. So uh, that's going to allow us to get these big beefy zombies with 7 to 12 attack and 390 health now. Woo! That's how you do it, man. I mean, compare that to a pit lord. They only got 220 health. The pit lord! He's got less health than a zombie! All right! That's nice, man. That's not too bad at all. So we got zombies basically all over the place, just stalling the crap out of these guys, killing a bunch of them, doing a bunch of damage. Imagine if we had other towers that were doing damage over here. Now, bloated corpses, we can explode, doing 60 damage to everybody, and then all the way up to 120 damage to everybody. One thing I want to point out is that uh, we have not spent much money at all. Okay? We still have $500 left over at this point in the game. What? Uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty freaking solid right there, man. 
Uh, I think that's probably the most amazing thing about the uh, uh, this entire tower right here, the cemetery, is that it costs so little. Um, if you combine it with any other towers that do any sort of damage whatsoever, you're going to be a happy camper. Let's just say it that much. And I think it's pretty easy to be a happy camper as far as Chris is concerned. But you guys are definitely going to be happy campers over here. Let's kill all these bad boys. Let's get some zombies up in here. But keep in mind, you got to kill them in the range, man. If you don't kill them in the range, it's not going to be quite as, as, as wonderful. I don't know the max number of zombies that you can have. It looks like there's probably about five zombies, six zombies that you can have on the screen at the same time. But that's more than enough. I mean, compare that to an orc den. Three guys. You know, a, a dark knight, two guys. Gargoyles, two guys. Like, this is more than any other uh, random units that you're going to have. If... I don't know how well this would happen, but if you combined the Grim Cemetery with Mortimus at the same time, and you just had a gigantic zombie army, how far would that take you? It'd be interesting to see. So this is why you can just go for uh, these guys kind of all over the screen, man. They're, like I said, they're, che they're cheap. Buy two of them if you want. Uh, honestly, because of the overlapping ranges, I wouldn't probably actually do that. I would recommend probably putting down just one and then putting down some other towers that can hurt the guys instead. It's probably more beneficial to do it that way. Um, so I think that's really all I have to say about this tower. Uh, overall, I like it. I think it's fun. I think it's interesting. I think it's cool. I don't think it's overpowered in any way. I think it's pretty pretty fair what you're getting out of this guy. Uh, a good amount of stalling power. Not too much damage. I know the zombies seem like they're doing a lot of damage, but they're really not doing that much damage. It's more just stalling everybody, letting Asra take all the uh, do the real damage, letting my reinforcements do the damage, and letting my random poison every once in a while do all the damage as well. Uh, if I had to give this tower a rating, I would probably give it an 8. I think it's it's solid. I think it's good. I think it's fun. I think it's interesting. Uh, and it's definitely got that cool factor to it, to have a giant army of zombies on your team fighting against the enemies over here. Look at that. We got at least four, five, six, seven on our on the screen right now. Eight, maybe. N nine? Is there a limit? I don't know. I kind of want to. I kind of want to know if there's a limit. That's a lot of zombies. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. At least nine, ten. Okay, so maybe there's a limit of five per. Five per cemetery or six per cemetery or something like that. That's pretty cool. I like it though. And then we get explode putrid juices all over our opponents. <laughs> schnarf, schnarf, schnarf. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to throw it down in the comments below. I'll try and answer. Hopefully somebody else can try and answer for you. Uh, if you enjoyed the video though, please press that like button for you. For me, I would appreciate it a bunch. Subscribe. If you haven't, man, I know, it's, it's cool to subscribe. And of course, have a super duper delicious day.